today I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can free up storage on your Mac in case if you're running out of storage okay so this is uh, on Mac with Sequoia you can follow the steps on your uh, Mac if you're running on Mac with Ventura or later okay so first what we are gonna do is we are gonna click on Apple logo on upper left corner here then select system settings and go to storage under general wait for it to load for a moment once it's loaded go ahead and check which category is taking up a lot of space okay so for example uh, under system data it says 11.25 GB okay so uh, for all the categories there's the I button which you can click on to see what is taking up so much space but for system data there's no such button so what do we do so we have to go inside the finder under library folder to get rid of system data okay so you cannot simply do it from here so what we are going to do is we are going to close out system settings then we are going to go into finder so as you can see currently i'm and i'm under finder desktop but you're going to click on go here and click on library if you have library go ahead and click on that if you don't have library press and hold the option key on your keyboard to make library appear once you have it click on that it's gonna take you inside the library folder as you can see at the bottom the it's under user library okay so user my channel name which is the user account of this Mac and the library folder so which we are within the library folder so at the moment you're not able to see the size of each folder so what do we do so that we can see the size of each folder in order to decide or rather figure out which one is taking up a lot of space so we go we click on view here while we still have the finder menu active and we click on show view options and calculate all sides you're gonna make sure this box right here is checked once you have done that go back to library folder under finder and then click on size here to sort it from largest to smallest you just have to click once once you have it you can see uh, containers is taking around 894 MB for you it can be a different folder taking up a lot of space so b before you go ahead and delete that folder or files within that folder let's make sure that we are not deleting something which will cause issue on your Mac okay you may don't want to delete any file which can be impacting any of your third party apps or any mac with functionality okay so let's make sure of that now uh, after we go ahead and figure out which uh, folder is taking up open up the folder to see if you can delete any file from there for example under messages we have data and then we have these separate section we are not gonna delete this so in case if you're using messages, iMessage full time sending and receiving images or videos, you might see messages taking up a lot of space. You can go ahead and delete that. Okay. But that will appear under different category when you, when you go to system settings and click on storage under general, the messages gonna appear here in case if you're mes using messages on your Mac, it's gonna appear here. Okay. So I am not using messages or our messages is not taking any, any space on my Mac at the moment. Which is why you cannot see messages over here like how we are seeing for applications photos documents etc okay so we were talking about system data so once you're under library folder you go ahead and delete any folder or file that you don't need for example caches and logs these two folder you can definitely go inside those folder and delete the file temporarily to free up some space okay those files are gonna come back because they are temporary files okay and it builds build builds up over time as you use your Mac okay now uh, so that's how you're gonna free up the system data okay we are gonna have to go back to the same folder under library and okay apart from system data we also have to talk about applications for example you can see application at the moment is taking 11.05 GB but it can be more than that 
once you click on i you'll be able to see the apps which you have installed on your mac but in some cases you will see you only have few apps however the application is taking around 50 gb 60 gb or more than that but you don't have that much app on your mac but it is still taking up a lot of space so what what we are going to do is under the library folder we are going to check if application support folder okay so this folder right here uh, holds all the data from the third party app and also from your built-in uh, apps on your mac okay so for example i have gimp here okay i am using gimp sometimes to edit photos as you can see i have gimp it's a third party app so GIMP, gimp has one folder here and as you as i use gimp you know throughout the day it will start storing files over here and so it can go up to maybe 1 gb 2 gb depending on how much uh, you're using the app and also how much data it is creating on your mac okay so let's say if you if you have any app which you have uninstalled but you are still seeing the folder inside application support you can go ahead and delete it or you can also delete uh, folders related to apps which you don't use frequently for example iMovie okay if you have iMovie on your Mac and it is taking up some space on your Mac you can sim simply go ahead and delete it if you're not using iMovie app at all okay similarly we can go ahead and delete this sys Cisco Spark this is basically Webex I believe yeah if you have Webex on your Mac and you don't use it that frequently you can go ahead and delete that folder but keep in mind when you delete that folder it's gonna reset your app to f default okay like how you download the app for the first time from the website right it's gonna reset to that so that's pretty much it uh, for today I'll be posting another video uh, or rather shorts to show you guys how you can free up storage on your Mac if you have any questions please let me know in the comment down below i'll be happy to answer those thank you so much for watching my video guys have a good one